Welcome back to my channel. At last, the Glasgow Partick tenement is complete. Well, I've taken it as far as I could. It's actually taken some time uh, for me to do this as it was actually done over a long period of time. It started out a number of years ago when I read an article about a tenement building and there was some data on basic dimensions and I thought, hmm, I've got to try and give this a go. Now, if you look back on my channel, uh, you will see a number of videos on how I developed it. Most of the material, as you know, is made from grey card, and that is the main structure. Type of grey card you would get on the back of a full scap paper. Um, they came in very handy. They weren't that easy to cut, especially the windows, but it does give it that rundown look that I was looking for. Like everything else, there's always a story uh, behind everything you build. And this one is no different. The pavement or the base was made out of foam core. I removed the top surface and painted it various shades of grey to get that weathered look of an old pavement from the 1950s, early 1960s in Glasgow. Now the figures that you see here are Bachmann 00 scale figures and that matches the physical dimensions of the tenement building which I built as four millimetres to the foot. Um, I can't show you, but I started out with walls inside and floors. And then I ran into a, a, a bit of trouble with the roof and I had to put the roof on solid, completely glued uh, to the building itself. Now the roof is made from black paper and uh, what I did, I cut it up into suitable size strips and then cut some slots to suggest individual tiles. And then I put it through a series of weathering paints using acrylics and added some moss for effect as these places were always damp because it seemed to rain every other day. Now this end of the building is typical of what you would have found in many streets in Glasgow. Could have been, a, especially those ones like this that were constructed closer to the river. And it depicts the end of a building where possibly the adjacent part was blown up by uh, a German bomb during the Second World War. Or there was a fire in the building and the building had to be demolished. And what you see are the remnants of the fireplaces, coal fires, which would have been in each individual apartment or flat and I, I've indicated the remnants of uh, some wallpaper that may have been on the wall and discoloured everything else uh, to give it that aged and burnt effect and as often happen uh, posters about travel would appear on the walls and I've added in some flock and coal and stone, just 
just to suggest uh, that the adjacent building was demolished. And these two, uh, uh, that's the leading up to the chimney stacks, that is also done in cardboard. And then it was all glued in place. Now the drain pipes that you see here, I used uh, evergreen plastic models, uh, solid round uh, sections. And th this would have been the rear of the building. And uh, you can see where the wastewater would be coming out from each of the, those would be the kitchen sink area. Now the chimneys themselves, they are made from laminated sections of the grey card glued together and then I covered it with sculpting clay. I let it set and then painted it. And if you can just see here on the inside there between the tiles and the chimney stack itself, um, I used uh, tin foil to suggest the lead weather stripping that would have been on uh, the rooftops and added some uh, greenery to suggest moss from the damp. And the chimney pots themselves, they were taken from, once again, evergreen plastic models, uh, tubes, and I just cut them up at random sizes to suggest some of them may be broken. Now, I went through a long period of time where I wasn't really sure how I was going to address the finished colour of the tenement building. As a child growing up in this area of Glasgow, uh, there were various shades of sandstone building. And some of the original sandstone buildings uh, that have been uh, refurbished and modernised now display some golden colours of the original sandstone uh, that was used in their construction. But during the 50s and 60s, they were mostly black and discoloured from soot and smog. In fact, the fog, smog, we didn't know about smog at the time, but the fog used to be thick yellow brown in colour and, and very distasteful and no wonder many people died from chronic lung disease and heart disease. But you can still find many tenements similar to this in Glasgow in various areas and in Partick which is the west end of Glasgow where I grew up. Now if you go back into my YouTube channel uh, you will see two or three videos uh, during the construction uh, of the tenement building. And it gives you an idea of some of the challenges that I had and the approaches that I took in trying to design and construct uh, the building. Now, the scene that you see here outside the close, as it was called, the entrance. The gentleman here on the left is a factor. Now the factor was the man who would come round and collect the rent. I don't recall if it was a weekly or monthly basis, probably a weekly because most people were paid weekly. And then we have three tenants one of them's not too happy. You can see she's got her arms crossed and the other one is telling the factor off. Well, the district nurse 
is here to speak about bad conditions in which these people are living and that a move to a new building would benefit everyone. And the factor wants everybody to move out as soon as possible because this building, this tenement, which probably first constructed in the late 1800s, is to be demolished. And he's telling Mrs. Smith that she's got to pack up her wains and move out because the demolition crews are coming in. And, you know, we might send you to Knightswood or Drumchapel or some outlying place like that. Anyway, that's the story of uh, of life in the in the Glasgow tenements. Uh, most people had cold running water in a toilet it was often halfway down the stairs in a place like this. So this is one to seventy six scale, four millimeters to the foot. And it's going to be sitting in my model railway and I'll show you that shortly. I might construct some more, but not the full build. I may only build half of it and use it to create depth of field on the railway. So let's get it in place and see what it looks like. So here is the tenement building in place, not its final place, but in its place on the railway. And there's Patrick Hill Station, which was only a short walk away. In the background there, you can see another tenement building, and that's a low relief building which I demonstrated a week or two ago. And I, I will add in others to create depth um, in this area. Not quite sure where this will be positioned, but I'll find a good spot for it. The cement building is only there for effect. It's not part of the town but there'll be a number of tenements. And there's the, uh, uh, the milkman coming uh, to deliver the milk in, in a, a little float, as it, as it was called. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this design, construction, build, of my tenement building and if you did please remember to give me the big thumbs up to support my channel um, the more people uh, that will support the channel will make it easier for me to do more videos and hopefully I'll be able to do more like this so once again thank you very much for uh, following this construction and I hope it brought back some happy memories for you and we'll see you next time here at Partick Hill Station bye for now